Once again, we want to get back to that breaking news. This is a live look at the scene of a shooting on Kings Road that we've been following all afternoon. Our Atia Collins is standing by. She's getting prepared to give us a live report. Our sources are telling us at least four people have been killed in this shooting uh, near Edward Waters University. We're hearing this might have been at a Dollar General. We're still waiting for the sheriff's office to confirm all that information for us. Uh, do we want to go ahead and go to Atia live right now? Looks like she is ready to go. Atia, just tell us once again, I know you've been out there for several hours, what you know right now. Yes, Anthony, I've been out here for about five hours. When I arrived on scene at 1.30, very active scene. SWAT units here on scene, officers walking around with their guns out. Since then, things have calmed down, but still a very active scene here behind me on Kings Road. Now, of course, like you just heard from our sources, we are hearing at this time that four people in total are dead. One of those includes the shooter, so three victims, one shooter for a total of four dead from the shooting here on King's Road. I've talked to multiple community members, many of them just worried that their family members may have been involved in this shooting. A lot of them calling out for answers, hoping that the community can come together and speak about what is happening as far as the violence here in the area. We saw multiple prayer vigils held here on Kings Road at the site of this shooting, one held by city council leaders, another one held just moments ago by a youth pastor. And you should be seeing some images from earlier in the day of that of that action right now. But again, as we are hearing from our sources, four people in total dead, one of them including the shooter. We have heard from Mayor Donna Deegan that she is heartbroken over the violence that continues to plague this area here in Jacksonville. We also heard from Representative Angie Nixon, who represents this area, her calling on the community to come together if you see something, say something. And that's a message we hear over and over from Sheriff TK Waters. Again, we're still waiting for more information from the sheriff. He's going to be holding that press conference soon. He actually was here on scene earlier. I saw him along with Chief Powers, who is the chief of JFRD. They were on scene here earlier, along again with our city leaders and our state representatives. Everyone here coming to this area, looking for answers and hoping that the community can come together after this tragedy and support our efforts to find justice for these families. I'm going to toss it back to you in the studio reporting Atia Collins. First Coast News on your side.